pretty much since the beginning of time, we've built up culture to what it is today. But we haven't had popular culture for too long, nor have we discussed how it has impacted us and society. Have you ever thought how popular culture is connected to biodiversity and how it impacts the modern world? Popular culture takes a lot of inspiration from nature. For example, if you were to see a movie that was made in Cuba, majority of the time it would be on the beach because of the beautiful scenery there. But what they won't focus on is the part of Cuba that's struggling and needs more attention than a beach area. Also, have you noticed the very subliminal messages in Thomas the Tank Engine? For example, Percy Ice actually the Illuminati. The government has the keeping this from us the whole time. Everything is a lot. Moving on. A lot of movies, TV shows, and video games use biodiversity to create a more immersive atmosphere. A very large and successful franchise that takes huge inspiration from biodiversity would be Pokemon. For one of many examples, there's a Pokemon by the name of Shellos, which is most likely based off the Chromodorus Logi, in which they both share similar appearances and can even change their appearance when in different parts of the sea. These same designated traits carry out through what's called their evolution which is directly inspired by the Charles Darwin theory. There's also another phenomenon in the Pokemon games known as a shiny Pokemon, in which a Pokemon can be born with a different color variant than the rest of its species. In real life, there has been record of animals with rare color variants, which may be what inspired this occurrence in the games. Biodiversity is heavily affected by popular culture because popular culture can give a lot of awareness to the lack of biodiversity issue. How? Like in the movie Rio 2. It's about a bird named Blue. He goes on a vacation with his family. They could either only blue macaws left. But what do you know? They find more of their species. And the habitat's being destroyed, but yeah, it's yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. In the movie Finding Dory, they show a good amount of endangered species as the main characters including a beluga whale named Bailey. Since this character was shown in the movie, a grand amount of popularity has been received by the beluga whale in an attempt to help save it. Save it! Save it! Biodiversity is everywhere in popular culture, including music books too. For instance, the song Mercy Mercy Me by Marvin Gaye. But it goes, oh mercy mercy me, oh things they would use ain't what they used to be. Where did the blue skies go? Poison is in the wind that blows from the north and south and east. And also in the song Big Yellow Taxi by Joni Mitchell, which released on her 1970s album Ladies of the Canyon, the song's lyrics include, Don't it always seem to go, that you don't know what you got till it's gone. They paid the paradise and put up a parking lot. Popular culture's connection to biodiversity is all positive though. Popular culture was responsible for the popularity of dog racing and horse racing. Dog racing and horse racing are meant for the entertainment of people. However, animals are treated poorly for our enjoyment because our culture really promoted this as a good thing and gambling thing. So many people were very interested in the idea until many people uh, got together to ban dog racing. Horse racing is still legal.